Good morning students. Today we will begin with the topic 1.8 Some Requesty Aspect in Collecting Aesthetical Information and it is useful in presenting, presenting in diagrams, graph, chart. The aesthetical information can be represented in the form of chart, diagram, graph. And these are useful and helpful in explaining some economic principle, train, relationship in a simple, suggestive manner. Such a representation also become attention catching. While constructing such diagram, we have to keep in mind following particulars which must be carefully considered. First one is source of information or the data. It should be um, in our mind we should clear that from where we'll get the source and what information has to be collected. It should be clear in our mind. The source of data must be reliable. It should be accurate, universal, acceptable. We should ensure that its accuracy, that it is proper. For example, to obtain the information regarding the growth and development parameter in India, Economic Survey of India and data provided by Central Aesthetical Organization is a reliable source. That means we will get the correct source from the correct information from Economic Survey of India. To obtain comparative data for such parameter for different countries of the world, World Development Report is a reliable and universally acceptable source. If we want to compare India's uh, growth and development parameter with the other country, so we can able, we can able to compare, we get, we, but first in the mind we have to keep in mind that from where we have to get the information, who will be providing correct and accurate information, we have to keep in mind that. A second point is clarity regarding dependent and independent variable. When there is a cause effect relationship between the variable, then the cause variable is treated as independent variable and the effect variable is treated as a dependent variable as its value are depend on the value of independent variable. Agar hum kisi ka cause and effect dekhenge, jaise humne dekha ta price and demand mein. Agar price badhti hai, to demand gategi, demand badhegi, to price gategi. All that things we have to keep in the mind. So, wo hume comparison samajna hai. In such a relationship, data pertaining to independent variable must be representative on the x-axis जो हमारा independent variable है वो हमें x-axis पे रखना है and जो dependent variable है वो हमेशा represent होगा y-axis पे for example if we are examining the relationship between rent and agriculture production in a reason a particular area may hum agar find out kar rahe hain ki kitna rainfall hua aur kitna agriculture production hua to hame kya karna hai ki jo rainfall hai hamara independent variable hai hamara jo agriculture production hota hai wo barish pe depend karta hai so we'll represent it on the x-axis or jo hamara agriculture where production hai wo hamara kya hai dependent hai jo hamare paas agriculture production aayega wo kis pe nirbhar karta hai barish pe nirbhar karta hai to hamara dependent variable kaun sa hai agriculture jo hai hamara dependent variable hai kis pe dependent hai rainfall pe therefore it is depend on it is represented on the y axis if we are examining the production over different time period now we are examining the things on the time period basis then the time periods are represented on the x axis and production on the y axis in economics the law of demand however the price is independent variable is represented on the x axis and demand jo hai wo dependent variable hai it should be represent on the x axis now the third 
required information is selecting appropriate scales in order to obtain a systematic graph with the clarity and the appropriate size proper scale must be taken on the both axes आपने जो graph सभी तक किए हैं आपने देखा होगा मेजर करके लिए फाइव लाइन के ग्राफ्स आते हैं टेन लाइन्स के ग्राफ आते हैं प्रॉपर मेजरमेंट लेना होता है उसके लिए हमें डेटा चाहिए उसी तरह ये भी वैसे ही है स्केल मेजर्स आर टेकन टू रिप्रेजेंट एक्चुअल डाटा है ना डायग्राम इफ द एक्चुअल डाटा इज टू लार्ज बहुत बड़ा है से इन जीरो 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 और इन जीरो 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 देन सच अ डेटा कैन नॉट बी डायरेक्टली रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द चार्ट हैंड्स इट इज रिप्रेजेंट आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग इट टू इन एप्रोप्रिएट मेजर्स एंड एप्रोप्रोप्रिएट स्केल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन अ डाइग्राम अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर जो मैंने जैसे अभी आपको बताया फाइव लाइन्स का डायग्राम होता है फाइव लाइन्स का ग्राफ टेन लाइन्स का तो वन सेंटीमीटर जो है इक्वल्स टू टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स हम कंसिडर करेंगे एंड वन सेंटीमीटर इक्वल्स टू फाइव ईयर्स कंसिडर करेंगे एंड सो ऑन ऑन दिस बेसिस विल describe our graph and we'll show the measure we'll take the appropriate selecting scale and we'll show the details in the graph or the diagram such scales are taken on the both axes thank you students